Campbell Newman has come face to face with Anastasia Palaszczuk as vote counting inches closer to choosing the government of Queensland. The former Premier followed up his encounter with a private staff party at an iconic Brisbane pub. A result like Saturday's could drive you to drink, but the former Premier lined up with his former staff, like any other workplace or government department, where people suddenly and unexpectedly lose their jobs. Earlier crossing paths with Anastasia Palaszczuk at a funeral for Nick Zinnius, a leader in Brisbane's multicultural community. How are you? Good to see you. While slowly, ever so slowly, we get closer to finding out who won. Slow count, frustrating for voters, especially in a handful of undecided seats. As far as Maribor, we really don't know as yet where we're going to stand in the state. I'm sure a lot of people in the area just want to move on and make plans about where their town is going. So imagine the absolute agony for politicians. We wait like the rest of Queenslanders, hanging on every count. There are so many variables picking the political futures, like choosing Powerball numbers. Pauline Hanson was ahead at one stage, now she's more than 120 votes behind. Lawrence Springborg could be the next leader of the LNP, and if the numbers go the right way, even Premier. It all comes down to that count, and probably the support of these men. We are not in love with the Labor Party or the LNP. Catter's Australia Party members have talked to the LNP but not to Labor. They want expensive Brisbane-centric projects like the Bat Tunnel shelved. If we spend a dollar, they say, it should be to make a dollar. Gone will be the days of building a massive Premier precinct while you cut the pensioners' lawnmower and vouchers. Gone will be appointing your own government CM CMC. Labor thinks they're the better bet. The LNP, who are a leaderless rabble right now, and without asset sales, they have nothing. And just when it looked like this election couldn't be more chaotic, the battle for Fernie Grove might not be over. Palmer candidate Mark Taverner is an undischarged bankrupt and therefore ineligible to stand. It'll be up to the parties to decide whether they want to challenge the outcome in the seat and force a by-election. Straight to Shane Doherty now at State Parliament. Shane, has there been any change in the seat count? Well, Andrew, there's been nothing but change, and that's the problem. So even the figures I'm going to tell you now should be taken with a grain of salt. But Labor's hopeful of getting 44 seats, leaving the LNP with 42, which Sunday is still in play. And if Labor wins that, that takes them to the magic 45, and they don't have to do deals with anybody. But anyone who says they can predict what's going on is crazy. And who can tell what's going to happen in Fernie Grove? All right, thanks, Shane.